Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Paradigm Shift. Today I will talk about how more than 90% of Chakmas of Arunachal became citizens of India and why the state government still doesn't recognize them as citizens. So in plain layman language, it is the Section 3.1 in the Citizenship Act 1955 citizenship by birth that makes more than 90% Chakmas of Arunachal as citizens. Also, based on this law, the Delhi High Court in the Civil Read Petition number 886 of the year 2000 considered Chakmas as citizens and ordered inclusion of Chakmas in the electoral roll. Therefore, as of today, more than 5,000 Chakmas are already enrolled as voters in Arunachal. The contention of the state government and APSU is that Chakmas were illegally settled by the government of India in Arunachal in 1964 by flouting the provisions of the Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation Act 1873, to which the Honorable Guwahati High Court in 2013, in the matter of APSU versus Election Commission of India, held that the Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation Act 1873 is not applicable to Chakmas. The court also clearly stated that once Chakmas are allowed to settle in Arunachal, it would be deemed that inner line permit had been granted to them because they were settled in Arunachal as per the policy decision taken by the government of India in consultation with the Arunachal Pradesh government authorities. So, from the discussion, it is pretty much clear that by the virtue of Section 3 of Citizenship Act 1955, more than 90% Chakmas are citizens of India. And therefore, as of today, more than 5,000 of them are enrolled as voters. The irony is that the state government and APSU do not recognize Chakmas as citizens. And the only reason why the state government does not recognize Chakmas as citizens that one can think of is for political mileage that people with vested interest want to drive by dragging this issue. As the state government is also the executive or the implementing agency of the laws and the court orders, the Chakmas cannot really force or compel the state to adhere to the court orders or what the law says. Finally, even though the Chakmas are citizens as per the law of the land, they are not recognized as citizens and are forced to live a rights-less life in Arunachal. Please comment your thoughts about what you think about the issue and how this issue could be resolved. Or if legal solution is not possible, could there be a political and socio-economic solution in the store? Thank you for watching.